ist das hier? <lacht> Welcome to Duwaldo Island. So, where is it? It's in Duhai. Yeah, it's an island. And uh, welcome to see my stitching channel. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you stitch? Uh, I stitch an island and the dream. <laughs> Dreams? Yeah. Dreams come true, huh? Yeah. It's a nice dream. So, where is this island? No one knows where is Zhuhai. Zhuhai is the uh, source of the China is in, uh, is in Guangdong area and it's a small city actually now it's a little bigger how many people oh it's a good question <laughs> <laughs> you ask the Beijing people to ask <laughs> to, to know how much this uh, Zhuhai I don't know it's a uh, two million two or three million maybe yeah small city right yeah maybe Very small. Um, maybe yeah so how many people in Beijing 20,000 now it's 20,000 uh, 20,000 yeah uh, 20 million sorry 20 million yeah. so because uh, you said Zhuhai is like small one. Oh, someone is fishing oh that is what I stitch I want to stitching over there yeah. I want to stitch over there lay down on the beach and stitch your beach <laughs> so let's go to the beach. Okay, let's go. from my super supportive husband <laughs> and hello everyone my name is Anastasia or as Aaron said Anastasia it's a Russian pronunciation of the same name and uh, this is my channel where I basically do a show and tell <laughs> about my cross stitch life and everything and today I have so much to show to you and so little time because basically right now one of my classes got cancelled and uh, because they are having a uh, sport day uh, meeting rehearsals and i'm not even sure if they will ask me to join them so maybe this video will be stopped and uh, at some point <laughs> so let's do it uh, quickly i have about an hour and i'm gonna use full of it I have so much to show to you. I have whips, I have stitch mania uh, plans, I have my birthday style, which I'm doing. I have some shout outs for philosophy. Um, what I have, I have a bit of Q&A. Um, and of course, we're doing a giveaway, but we're doing a giveaway at the end. So either you're gonna skip ahead and I'm not giving you timestamps, so just look ahead or you just have to see through all of it and this is like first week of my 12 days of work non-stop yeah they just told me wonderful news actually they told me on tuesday so it was a wonderful start of the week that this week and next week i'm working 12 days non-stop it's not like my work is gone crazy or something. It's just this week is five days. Uh, Saturday, they asked me to do extra class demo for new students, like open house. Then Sunday, we are working because in May, they are giving us three days off extra uh, during the weekdays. So we have five days off in May. Yay, but we are not going anywhere. We just been to Zhuhai with Erin this weekend, which I will tell you about just in a second. After I ramble about my non-endless work. And then next week is also five days. So basically it's like 12 days together. Why am I clapping? 
I don't know. I'm sorry if it was too loud. So it will, it's gonna be crazy. And today is Friday, the end of the first week. So I'm kind of looking forward for the non-existent weekend. <laughs> so um, all that said, last weekend was magic. Uh, my husband, Aaron, uh, he was on a business trip for a week and a half in Zhuhai. This is like a, a relatively small city in China. Relatively, because I am from a small city in Russia and it's like 600,000 people uh, and it's considered small. Uh, for Chinese, they say 2 million. Small city, very small. So for me, it was amazing. But don't be like super jealous or something. It wasn't all uh, rainbows and unicorns. Like I went there, I was sick. Uh, I was stress sick. Uh, then I had a six hour delay of the plane. So basically I w was waiting in the airport from 11 o'clock to evening, like what? You can count, whatever. <laughs> My head is not working and it's only morning. Uh, good morning, everyone. <laughs> so, and then when we got there and it's like the city of seafood, it's amazing. There was so much great food. By the way, I will put uh, at the end of the video, I will put just buffet and breakfast. I made a video. It's amazing. I want to go there again just to eat their food again. But I was like, okay, I had a very bad case of diarrhea there. Yes. So I could not eat anything. Basically just bread. Bread and uh, some potatoes. That's all I eat. I'm like, no, we have to go back. We have to go back. There's like eels and fish and crab and lobsters and oysters and the octopus and squid and then, like everything I love so dearly. I couldn't eat. Why would I go there? So, and it was raining. I've been there like two days. It was raining straight all two days, but still we had a nice walk. Uh, we had a wonderful room. Uh, we did not pay for the island. It was, uh, uh, Aaron is working in a company where he has to find new suppliers for his company and his comp uh, new suppliers sometimes treat him to something uh, because they want to have better deals with him. Uh, so basically he told them that he got married, that's why they decided to organize this trip for us. We paid for the food, we paid for uh, the flight tickets and everything, but um, the island itself was already paid for us and it was very expensive, so I'm not really sure we can go there by ourselves uh, next time. So we have to wait for another very kind and very generous supplier <laughs> who can afford paying for our trip. All this said, it's one year of my floss tube anniversary! Hooray! <laughs> yeah, I had a great comment under the last video from Padma and she suggested that I would uh, get a cake, uh, put a little uh, party hat on my cat and make a video like we're celebrating together my uh, uh, floss tube anniversary. I'm sorry, but I am so tired and Erin is not there every evening and it would be so sad for me just like celebrate it together with my cat, <laughs> just the two of us. Uh, yeah, it will be sweet and cute, but a little sad because he's working very late this week and probably next week too. Yeah, so this couple of weeks will be very busy, but I have great stitcher plans. Stay tuned for that. Um, let me show you what I've been stitching so far and then we'll go for plans. So my whips, uh, first of all, I've been really, really, really working on this piece. So this is Miroshka, uh, no, this is Don by Miroshka. Miroshka is a company. It's a Ukrainian company and they're making kits. So they use uh, Ada and sometimes they use like uh, linen. Uh, and DMC floors and everything is amazing, but they don't have electronic patterns. 
and they're actually like super non-supportive of their patterns to be turned into electronic um, um, type. So they're not doing it themselves. I know that like, for example, all forest embroidery, they're very supportive of the electronic uh, type of their patterns and they are converting their PDFs into electronics for the people who want. And they, their kits right now even contain the QR code, um, which you can scan and get the pattern, the electronic version on your phone. So basically, if I, even if I buy a kit, I don't need to stitch from the paper because I can just scan it. That's amazing news for me because I was stitching from my phone for more than a year now and I'm addicted. This one I'm stitching from paper and maybe that's why first it's very difficult for me now. It's very difficult and I can't say I'm hating it but I'm not loving it. I'm not loving the process so much as I would. Um, I did a great progress. I did a great progress like um, most maybe like 4,000 or 4,200 stitches, something like that. So here you have, you see her hands, sun, and uh, some background. It's like half, uh, there is like another page. There's like four pages, but uh, the last page is like from here. And yeah, I because I'm stitching from paper, I'm not used to it. I messed up greatly. Like um, somehow here I messed up. So her hands, like all this part, is a little one one square, like further to the right. So I cannot continue stitching the green unless I finish whites and grays here. And they are boring. Like I, uh, I, I don't like to stitch with red. I don't know. Maybe it's angry color or something. I don't. I just don't uh, feel happy stitching red. Uh, but now I know another color which I also don't like. Sorry, hydrating. <clears throat> Herbal tea. So this is gray. I hate stitching gray. It's so boring. Maybe because I was a little sick and I was stitching this gray when I was in Zhuhai and in Zhuhai was sick. So that's why it's kind of like doesn't give me good feelings. But I just had to stop. And originally my plan was to power through this in April and in June and finish it before my friend's birthday in July. I'm stitching it for my friend Anne. She's already been on this channel several times, you see her. I'm not afraid to talk about this project because uh, first of all, she knows that I'm stitching it for her. She gave me the kit. Secondly, she never watches my video. This is how sportive my friends are. They never watch my videos. My husband never watches my videos. My parents do. My parents watch my videos because this is like the most time face to face they get with me sometimes. Uh, I'm not gonna finish it by July. I'm not gonna finish it because I'm really tired of it. I'm putting it on hold. I'm not even sure like Anne is waiting for it this year, so um, it doesn't really matter if I can finish it like by New Year for her and make it New Year present or for next birthday. Doesn't matter. Like I'm putting it on hold for now. I'm just gonna stitch whatever I really feel like stitching and this is not it uh, or if I can find someone who can turn the paper pattern into electronic version I tried to commission two people already to do it and they refused it or when they saw the pattern either pattern is too bad or my uh, scanning skills are awful I don't know so after I was sick and tired of it. I put some progress into Owl Forest Embroidery. This is their freebie, uh, Bayers. I'm not sure how it's called. So since last time I finished his legs and basically did all of the uh, daddy bear, uh, baby bear is not finished. He has several more uh, motifs around him. Like, I think they're pine cones, uh, but 
I really like how the colors look together. They're nice. Sorry, we were a little interrupted by the cleaning lady because right now the school is all empty, everyone is outside, so she took her time to clean the area. And uh, of course, like she tried to be very quiet, but I decided just to stop to give her the space to be polite and uh, uh, let her do it. Uh, so, uh, we've done through the whips and... Uh, oh, mm, yeah, and the last but not the least uh, I stitched this month is... Uh, my long dog sampler forevermore and you see how i perfectly center my fabrics no I, I didn't even attempt to center this one it's not like i'm so stupid no uh i didn't even try like i just measured five centimeters and started in the corner and i didn't really care how many would be left because i think five centimeters would be enough to frame it for me uh so all in all, this week, as I'm stitching it, I finished all this uh, triangle motif, flower motif. So I wouldn't say like repetitions uh, bother me or anything. Like maybe it's just because there are two of them and not 55 repetitions or something that I just stitched it as a new motif. I didn't even thought like, oh, it's like totally the same as that one. Oh, I'm gonna rehoop it. Um, so I'm stitching it in a um, medium hoop, energy hoop. I have like two medium ones, uh, two big ones, uh, two small ones. Uh, they are plastic and metal. I can hoop with one hand, really stiff, but they give the drum tension. And I love tension because I'm stitching like on the go. I just, it's small. So whatever it just fits in, I can put in my bag, I can put in a small vanity uh, and take it with me just with one color and the scissors. Yeah, it's a relatively small one. Uh, right now is like the end of April, so I think before the beginning of the May I will be working on the, my long dog. I really want to just try to do the whole crown. Um, it's kind of big, it goes like all the way here, but I'm not sure like but I will try. Um, that's like my nearest plan, like nearest, nearest plan. Uh, but I have more plans, and which I will be talking here. <laughs> Let's do it here. Plans. This weekend is again another 24 hours of cross stage, and I'm excited for it, but I really cannot do it this weekend. I work full day on Sunday, I work half day on Saturday, like never going to happen. Uh, oh, 24 hours of cross stitch is a brainchild of uh, Jen Lee from Quarks and Stitches. And uh, if you don't follow her, go, go and watch her. She's an uh, amazing person. She has great projects and she's doing it with her mom. They're watching movies and they're also making like videos. She has um, like a, a Facebook group dedicated for it and she's doing all kind of printouts uh, and uh, monthly challenges and uh, special challenges like everything everything dedicated to it so I like to participate in 24 hours of cross stitch not like super official like I'm not uh, like posting my progress every hour and everything but just like the way I can because it's a fun it's fun so I already did another video of 24 hours of cross stitch before uh, where I did stitch to the whole weekend uh, and uh, last time I could not because um, I think I learned about it uh, too late like I don't plan it beforehand so much just like whenever I hear about it I'm doing it so I did 24 hours of watching Flossy when I was watching 24 videos. Uh, some of them were longer than one hour, some of them were shorter, so basically 24 hours uh, of Flossybers. And I had moment, um, like moments in my Instagram, uh, highlights, highlights in my Instagram where I saved forever all the 24 cross stitchers. Some of them were new to me some of them were like my favorite ones so if you're interested on who do you, who to watch you can just check my highlights uh in instagram i'm neko dietka so you can go out and check them and uh, 
she's doing 24 hours this weekend. I cannot do it, but I will be doing 24 hours of cross stitch next weekend because from the 1st to 5th of May, I'm like free. And yes, I, I can take <laughs> two days totally just for my stitching, maybe a little less because I will be just vlogging uh, 24 hours I'm stitching. So what I'm gonna do is I will take a weekend or three days and I will vlog my stitching and I will show you basically like progress every two, three hours on uh, uh, several different projects. And also it's May coming, so it's gonna be Stitch Mania. Stitch Mania is a month where everyone is starting as many new things as they can and uh, just seeing how crazy my life been on the past two months and it's been super crazy. Like, I'm not even sure it's 2021. It's still 2020 and it's just uh, hiding, pretending, you know? It's still here. It's never left. So that's why I'm doing Stitch Senia. Stitch Senia uh, was created by Stephanie from Lindy Stitches. Uh, you can go watch her recent video where she explains everything about it, but basically you take one oldest project or biggest project, whatever you want, and stitch it for, during the week for five days. And on the weekend, you can treat yourself to a new start, which uh, I love the idea last year. And last year I was working on my magpies and persimmons. This was a kit from Chinese company Sue Crafts. Let me do it this way. Yeah. So this was a really big piece of fabric. Like uh, the piece of fabric that was originally intended for it maybe was the size of that that picture, maybe bigger. It's like a big picture on the wall. Uh, so when I start, and it was a 16 pound printed Ada. When I started stitching it, the printed Ada got some rusty spots and uh, I was afraid that if I, maybe because I was not um, containing it properly or something, maybe it was uh, too wet or dried for her, I don't know. I don't know what happened. So basically I had to get rid of it and I stitched almost like full uh, magpie there. Uh, so unfortunately I had to get rid of it. And because I already stitched full magpie, I was thinking like, oh, uh, I may not have enough flaws if I repeat the same pattern on the 16th count. And uh, I did not know that much about different counts. Uh, so, but that moment I was watching, I think, uh, Stitching Mummy, and she stitches a lot on like one over one. Not a lot, but uh, her full coverages sometimes. Maybe just one project, but I heard it from her. <laughs> so, uh, the idea I'm blaming on her. Um, and so, uh, 25 count one over one and uh, I was like oh it's gonna be smaller and uh, no idea how small it was so it's gonna be smaller and I will have enough floss oh I thought it was four times smaller and of course I miscounted my fabric uh, you see it on the margins I left and of course it was my first time dyeing fabric so uh, that's why when I was dyeing it I did not mm, secure the sides and that they they do blah 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 uh, I don't remember the word, I'm sorry <sighs> English is my second language, you have to forgive me sometimes uh, when I'm sounding like a child it's just because I'm working with children so my active vocabulary is kinda like limited oh they're coming back so I'm gonna pause here because it's gonna be very loud and we're gonna continue later. Okay. and 
this is the quietest we get. Um, I'm sorry for everyone whose ears are too sensitive. So, as I was saying, I'm doing my Pfizer performance and the last year it was a very good uh, um, experience for me, uh, stitch senior, because last year through May I was teaching it every day. And um, yes, I was on quarantine and I had all time in the world to stitch on it. Uh, I'm not sure how much I will be doing this year, but last year I managed to finish two full pages and they're the biggest pages. Um, it's like um, three rows of pages here. The fourth row, uh, th third row is empty right now. Uh, the first row of pages, there are four pages on each row. The first row of pages is all done. Uh, the second row of pages had the magpies. Uh, so what I'm left is with the rest of the tail. And here is just a little more of persimmons. So my goal this year is to try for two pages again, but they are not so dense as um, two before. So maybe I can finish this row of pages this year and if I have some time I may go on a third row of pages. So no plans to sorry I was eating just now. A little not. So uh, no plans on finishing this this year, but um uh, planning to work on it again in May and it really motivates me to work on it. Uh, once a year, <laughs> but like fully, fully into it. So I will try to work on it every day and on the weekends I will treat myself to new starts. And by new starts I not only mean cross stage, but I also uh, bought some uh, yarn. I, I don't know how to say, it. it's like a very thick thing, thingy, yarny. Uh, which you, with using your hands, you can actually need a little carpet, and I bought it to make a carpet for Liangmi. I will show it here. Uh, this is what I was talking about. Uh, this used to be like a nice, cute uh, circle ball, and I just kind of played with it. So I just wanted to see how much in it, and its inside was more than the outside. So my idea was to make a cute carpet. The picture here so out of it no idea how to do it it's like knitting but with your hands and it's very thick it's like five centimeters maybe and inside is very soft something outside is super cool fabric because I want to do either the carpet for Liamy or just a carpet for myself <laughs> because if it's gonna be too good why not right so uh, while we're at it, oh, this is my hole. This was like my hole and I'm pretty sure I will need more. This is maybe not enough for the carpet because I thought they will send me a bundle. So I order four. Actually, what they meant in Chinese on Taobao is that they charge 20, 250 grams. And this is like a kilo. Uh, so I ordered just a kilo. I, I didn't know that. I thought it was going to be like a big bundle. Click on a picture. So maybe I will need to order more, but first I want to try this and maybe it will be my one of the weekend starts in May, start and finish, Sav, because I don't think it will take me longer than a couple of days to make a little carpet or at least to see if this is enough. Okay. And I wanted to give you a quick update on Liang Mei. Where is she? Where are you, baby? Oh my god, you're cleaning right now. Oh, what's up with your shirt? So, she just recently had her second vaccine. And she is actually feeling better. Like, in total, she's feeling better. She's more naughty. She breaks so many stuff right now. Yep. Warp. So I just came home and this is what happens every moment I sit on a sofa. Basically like anywhere I sit. Just for a minute. Just 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 to take a little break. This is what happens. I'm her favorite seat after the banana. 
So basically she's feeling much better, much better. She got very active and so naughty. Like when we went to Zhuhai, she broke our glass fountain. She broke the glass fountain we had. And she ate some of the plants here. And uh, she also like climbed everywhere and uh, make some mess. And my mother-in-law had to clean it all up. And thank you. I re I'm really thankful to my parents-in-law that they're so understanding and uh, so good uh, that they actually came here three times. They took care of her. They cleaned her <laughs> toilet. Um, there was no need actually to feed her because um, she has her feeding machine, like a time feeding, but we needed her to clean the toilet. And they just spend one hour with her every time playing. Like, I got the cutest pictures. I, I will show them now. Uh, so, see, it's like so cute how father in law was playing with the cat. And basically, every time they came, she was ecstatic. She loved them. She's very friendly, very. And show your little face. Show your cute little face. Here. Here. No? You don't want to show people your face? Your cute face? So cute. My baby so cute. So, a little shy today. Yeah? You can see here her breathing. So, her breathing did not get better. Like, I think it will be like forever problem. We are having uh, nose drops. But she was active enough and uh, uh, feeling wonderful and have a good appetite and everything. So we took her for her second vaccine and uh, it went well. Like, it really went well. It was two days ago. The first day she was mostly like uh, uh, sleeping, just sleeping it off. Uh, I was a little worried at her, for, uh, for her at night. So I took her in my bed and uh, sleep with her all night. Yeah, I was hugging you all night, and you really loved that, and sneeze all over my shoulder. Yeah, she's sneezing sometimes with yellow snort, but who cares, right? Who cares? If you're not feeling well, it doesn't mean you're bad. You're just a sick child, yes? You're just a sick child. You need to take better care of you, and you will be well. Yeah. So, she's very friendly. She's very warm and very nice and loves cuddling and loves touching and every time like ev someone comes home she's like running there and tries to grab them just like please 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 hug me hug me i'm so happy you're home right yeah and she also got some haul by the way she is a thread licker like if we have in our family a thread licker, she is. Every time I'm stitching something and I'm like, she will be sleeping on my lap. I will be stitching here and she sees some thread. She's like, <laughs> like that. <laughs> She's a thread licker. Uh, I'm very careful about the needles. I put them away. I have uh, strong magnets on the needles and I put them away in the box with the magnet. So I'm cautious about that. Oh. Hall. So she's in, um, we changed her from her winter clothes into her summer style, like more um, not so thick style clothes. So right now she's. So right now she is mint and chocolate. Uh, but um, actually, all other clothes we've got um, with her when we adopted her. Uh, they were a little small for her like the last time I changed her I noticed like before every time I change her she looks so bad like her spine or like her bones everything I could see through her skin but this time I could not see any bones I was seeing like muscles and a little fat so just like over a month with us and she's got a better figure, so no more bones, no more bones, yes. And what, so we had to change her clothes a little bit, and we got her this. 
so maybe next time it's so cute and i have i'm, I'm i just received it today i'm gonna wash it and then we're gonna try it on but uh, we're gonna try it on next time we change her like we wash her and because of the vaccine we cannot wash her for 10 days so either she's gonna wear this one or i will see if it gets really dirty but basically uh, i don't want to mm, force her to dress too much i don't want to like mm, use her as a toy so uh that's why i'm not just trying them on i i saw it's okay oh i think the size is okay the size for the head is perfect actually so maybe next costume she's gonna wear these so cute and she's got more coming on so she will be the fancy lady of my floss tube the fancy lady yes my fancy lady nah. are you sleeping are you sleeping you are sometimes she really scares me like she will be um nodding off like her head she will be sleeping uh, it will be like this and then at some point she'll be like first time i saw that i was like she died she died no she didn't she just literally dropped her face on the sofa her nose not breathing anything and then after a second or two she's like oh, 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 i need to hold my head Oh, she's eating her leg. We're gonna cut her nails tonight. We ordered the very safe and nice nail cutter for her. So we're gonna try. So no need to eat your nails, baby. But she has a scratcher. It's just one of the things she does. So this is the update on Liao Mei. Totally, she is feeling much better. She still has problems on her nose. We've been to the vet. And uh, after the vaccine, I think we don't need to go to the vet so much because every time we went there, it was actually to for a checkup if she can have a vaccine, if she's uh, healthy enough. Uh, now, I think we just need to wait out these 10 days and see if there is no emergency we'll just keep giving her nose drops okay baby time to say goodbye thank you for coming to watch me I know you don't come for Anastasia's cross stitch and you don't care about the giveaways you just come to see Liang Mei and she... oh yeah she's doing that did you see that? If you saw that, that's gross. I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm not gonna show you how she sneezes. So, on this very happy moment, and, see you. Uh, also, I will have my birthday start, which also is a weekend. Uh, so, it will be happening on 15th of May, is my birthday. Uh, and I'm having a birthday start. I'm starting Dreaming Jane. Um, the name of the designer is escaping me right now, but I will put it uh, down below um, on the screen. So I will be starting Dreaming Jane and uh, for anyone who wants to join me, and I don't mean we should start this exact project, but anyone who wants to join me in stitching some Russian designs, or designs about Russia because I know some uh, prairie schoolers, prairie schooler, they have some designs uh, uh, like Russian style. <laughs> I, at least I see them like this. Uh, so uh, if you have some, oh, which teacher actually have some uh, designs from Russian folklore like uh, Leshi? Um, it's like a wooden giant. Uh, creature. Um, so if you want to start, uh, wait a second, sorry, another interruptions. Okay, let's do it fast. Uh, so if you want to start something Russian by Russian designers or um, 
Russian theme or about Russian folklore or anything, anything connected to Russia, because I'm Russian. <laughs> if you didn't know, if you didn't notice it before. Uh, so you can join me and I will be starting it on 15th of May. You can start in any day of May and use hashtag. And I think like half of my followers will never do it just because of the hashtag. Hashtag is cross stitch BDSM. Blends don't scare me <laughs> because Russian patterns are a lot of, of colors, blends, and uh, of backstitch. You can say blends don't scare me or backstitch doesn't scare me. So BDSM, cross stitch BDSM. We are doing this hashtag, and uh, uh, now every time I stitch something like heavily backstitch or with a lot of blends, and it doesn't even matter if it's by Russians. Uh, by Russian designers, uh, like whatever. Uh, a lot of patterns have blends, like hates have blends, and uh, uh, they are ginormous, so there are a lot of blends. <laughs> so you can use this hashtag, and I would love if you join me. Uh, so we are doing this birthday sell <laughs> stitch along or start along. I just recently won a giveaway certificate to Etsy um, from Beth, uh, Stitch with Beth. She is amazing. I like her videos. She just started and she's rocking off. Like, that was a rocking start. Amazing. And her project is so good. So, uh, she had a 1,000 followers giveaway on her Instagram and YouTube. And I think I won the uh, Instagram giveaway. Uh, so I am having $25 certificate on Etsy and I have no idea what to buy because I never shop on Etsy before. Like I have problems with uh, PayPal. Um, that's totally a long story. I'm not gonna do it with this video. It's already gonna be a long one. So if you have your favorite shops on Etsy, please tell me. Uh, but preferably the ones that will send me PDF. The printed copies, I'm not so sure because just like a couple of days ago, I had a big problem about it. Uh, I had an early uh, birthday present, uh, I don't know if I can say, uh, from a dear friend. Uh, okay, from Padma. Padma, you're a dear friend right now. <laughs> uh, because uh, I just met you uh, a couple of weeks ago, I think, a week ago. Uh, you started watching my videos, we started texting on Instagram, and uh, she sent me the pictures of her granddaughter, who is like a, just a, the cutest, the cutest child on earth. I'm sorry to er all the mummies, but okay, Padma wins the cutest grandchild. <laughs> uh, so uh, she uh, gave me an early birthday gift to her Elena's and uh, uh, where I can order some uh, printed PDF, uh, printed copies of charts. And uh, let's say for the amount of certificate, the delivery fee was 70%. 70% of the certificate was the delivery fee. I was like, what? To China. Paper. Delivery fee of paper. So, of course, I cannot just spend uh, all the certificate on the delivery fee. I had to go and find some friends with a working PayPal and I had to um, put some extra money on it. But uh, it, 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 was, it was pleasure, it was excitement, especially because this all happened uh, when I was uh, feeling very sick and when I was very stressed. And these little gifts, they really like, made my day and they helped me. And thank you so much, Padma and uh, um, Beth. <laughs> Beth also, thank you so much. Uh, because um, these little gifts, they really helped me to enjoy uh, my day more <laughs> at that point of my life and uh, after it, after it too. And when I will be receiving them, sure, that would be a whole party. <laughs> uh, but uh, currently, like, I'm overwhelmed by the cost of the delivery of the shipping to China. And uh, is it normal? Like, is it normal that uh, 
you have to pay so much. I'm like, oh my god. I, I was expecting that it would be pricey. That's why I don't order from the US, but I didn't expect it would be so pricey. Oh, okay. Let's not talk about the. Uh, let's not talk about this side of the story. <laughs> let's talk about the fun things. So, uh, please pinpoint me to your Etsy shops, and I will really check them out because I just love reading your comments. Like I always read every every single comment of yours. By the way, I had a Q and A. <laughs> I had a question last time. Um, Black Forest Stitch uh, from uh, Instagram, Carmen, she asked me was the flaws in uh, um, all forest embroidery frog princess kit uh, over dyed uh, gamma or DMC and what was the difference? Um, I'm sorry, I totally forgot to bring it, but let's just visualize. So if we have uh, DMC flaws and uh, gamma, uh, let's say DMC is thinner, and uh, have a more uh, silky shyness in it. Uh, gamma is uh, thicker, uh, not twice, but maybe 1.5 <laughs> times. And uh, I would say it's rougher and uh, it doesn't give this shyness of floss. It's just like, a, just color, but uh, very muted. I would say muted. Uh, and if you take CXC floss, which I'm using in most of my projects. It's Chinese floss. Uh, it's uh, s even thicker than that. So it's like two times thicker than DMC floss, I would say. One strand is thicker so much. And it's a little puffy. So uh, when I wash it and iron it, the stitches go like bigger. <laughs> and that's why the coverage is so good. Our forest embroidery kits, they have DMC flaws. As far as I know, they always get up with the DMC and uh, Zweigert fabrics. One more thing before we go into the giveaway. I have some flaws to shout out. I'm so excited because, uh, about it because um, I've been so behind on the flaws too. And uh, just this week, I think I started to watch and rewatch everything from like two weeks ago, from this week. I found some, in recommendations, they gave me some really cool floss tubers and they just started also, I think like from, they all have like one, two or three, five videos and what's really, really, really um, warms my heart is that um, they are non-native speakers of English <laughs> because I thought I was like the only crazy one here who was uh, uh, Russian and speaking English and making whole floss tube in English. Uh, but apparently I'm not. There are people like me and uh, they have amazing projects to share and I just love it. So first in my um, list <laughs> which I want to shout out today and I want you to go and watch them because they're so great. But come back for the giveaway. So the first one is Laura Gr. Uh, I'm not sure how to like Gr. Uh, read it. Uh, Laura G R R. Uh, she has just amazing projects. First of all, I love her hair, hair color. Her hair color is like what cat caught my eye the first. I was like, oh, that's so cool! I want to watch her. But then her projects. She has heads and full coverages, but they're not like, mm, I don't know, I don't see uh, so many heads in the circle. Uh, usually it's just like a rectangular or pictures, but they, she's doing the circle ones and they are so cool. And also she is doing a pattern by uh, Mandarinka. Uh, it's a Russian designer. She's doing a Disney magic castle and she's almost done. She has like one corner left. This is so beautiful too. Like I haven't seen it. Like I have seen the pattern before, but I'm like, oh, Disney castle, it's, it's okay. But in person, it's just so beautiful. Now I want to stitch it too. And 
another one is Nicole from Stitchy Lemon. Uh, she's from Germany. Uh, and she stitches a lot of dimension kits and uh, also some small and full coverages and she just talks so interesting she tells like stories about uh, her projects and about every project has their own like um, associations with her life and such and she's a lover of herbal tea so herbal tea Nicole <laughs> me too and that's I just found her and I was like oh that's a person I could be friends with. <laughs> That's amazing. So the third one is Michal from Star Parade. His channel is called Star Parade and uh, uh, he is teaching really beautiful things but one of the things he showed was uh, um, it was either Russian kids or Russian design garden, uh, a fox, and it was on such a beautiful fabric, but he had the grid lines that didn't wash out. Uh, so he had, he used a very extreme approach to salvage the piece, and now it has a totally different look, but it still looks amazing. I don't know, like the first time I saw it, I was like, oh, that's an amazing idea. The, the fabric he used, wonderful. But now, after he did what he did, uh, it looks even better for me, in my, in my point of view. So if you're interested, and I bet you are, just go and watch him. I will put all the links in the description box. So, da -da 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 are we ready for the big giveaway? I said that I will be giving away uh, one of my FOs or FFOs and a lot of people said that they want uh, FO, not fully finished, so they can fully finish it themselves and just uh, according to their uh, like housing style or uh, preferences. Uh, Julie, Kansas City World. <laughs> Uh, she was so lazy that she said, oh, we don't want to, <laughs> no one wants to finish themselves. No, Julie, you're the only one. <laughs> Sorry. Mm, so everyone said they want an apple. Um, so that's why we are doing a parade of 10. I just chose 10. Some of them I have uh, uh, biggest love for them. That's why I think it would be... Uh, very meaningful for me to give it because first of all I love this channel I love all of you uh, I love the support that you're giving me so that's why I wanted to give something special not so like um, this is the mini one I stitch I don't want to don't know what to do with it so yeah let them have it no I'm giving big things <laughs> so meaningful big and love let's start um, the first one is, um, the name was Men's Breakfast, uh, by Elf's Workshop. Um, right now the designer, I think the designer is sick a little bit, so she is not selling her patterns, but I think that you still can find them on Stitch Sue or maybe my bobbin.com have them. Uh, so, uh, this is a very the dearest, maybe the dearest pattern to me and I was stitching it for my ex-husband. Actually, I wasn't stitching it for him, I was stitching him. So this is a picture of my ex-husband. But I mean, uh, if you would love this work, you don't need to think about it as <laughs> my ex-husband. I'm just saying why I stitch it. Uh, so this is the way I saw him when he was 19, when we first met, just a tall, lanky dude, and uh, he had this exact uh, apartment and kitchen and even the blue mug, exactly like that. So when I saw this pattern, I was like, I'm stitching it. And it's a pretty big work for me, like it's 300 and 300 something. So it was maybe my first full coverage or something like this. Uh, this side is not a square and it's not like I was stitching it and like, oh, too tired, <laughs> just got it. No, it's actually charted like this. So it's not a perfect square, um, but it kind of 
still looks beautiful. Uh, I'm giving it away because um, <laughs> I had an idea to make it into a tote bag. It would make a really good, nice big tote bag. But since I remarried and uh, it wouldn't be nice for me to have a tote bag with uh, my ex. <laughs> so, but it was done with uh, feelings of love, with thoughts of love. So if you would receive it, it's a really true love charm. Uh, don't think about as uh, we separate or something. It, it's not a bad story. We just overgrown it and uh, uh, when it was done, other feelings were true and fresh. <laughs> so, uh, first, number one. Uh, oh, uh, yes, let me say this now because other, I, I, after that I will forget. If you want to participate in the giveaway, answer the question. Tell me what are your plans for May? Are you doing Stitch Mania? Are you doing Stitch Senia? Are you not doing anything? What are you gonna stitch the winner? will pick whichever he wants, uh, she wants. Now I can say he and she because now I have more male viewers as the whiskey teacher told me, <laughs> I have several. <laughs> and uh, I will mail it to you wherever in the world. So number two is Peonies by Alisa Aknias. Um, so this is a really cool piece. First of all, because it looks awesome. But second thing is that it's a travel project. Uh, I was already living in China and I stitched it when I was on vacation to Thailand. Uh, I was there maybe a week and I think I finished all the stitches in just one week and it was really cool. I was stitching this piece on the beach, I was stitching this, it's, it's clean, I washed it. Uh, I was stitching this piece in a hotel, uh, at the swimming pool, at, in the jungles, like we went to see the monkeys, <laughs> like next to the monkeys. So uh, this piece have been to Thailand, it has seen so much sun, it has seen so much happiness. <laughs> so if you will get this piece, I hope it brings you the joy of vacation. And it's an amazing piece by itself. Peonies. Number three. Number three is a um, hummingbird, cranberry hummingbird. Uh, the video does not give it justice, so this is not gray fabric. This is like light, light green salad fabric. So it doesn't like to take pictures. Um, I know uh, another blogger, uh, Raspberry Stitches, uh, her Russian, she's a Russian blogger, Malin Vekrestike. Uh, she also is stitching on the same type of fabric. Uh, it's uh, Austrian, um, even with Ubelhor, Eva. Uh, I, I hope I pronounce everything correctly. So, <sighs> it has amazing texture. The texture is really cool and the color, but it doesn't want to take pictures true to it. So, it's much brighter and wonderful. I don't think. That's why. Uh, this I was stitching during the lockdown and I really finished it in one week. Like see how much I was stitching one week uh, last year. One week this year. I hate my job. I hate my job, but it steals a lot of time. Too much time. This is a little smaller but it's still so cool. Um, so this was my first start of 2020. I don't know, like, do you really, can you tell this was the start of 2020? I didn't even know about that moment. Uh, but um, for me, uh, the scowl is not about death. Uh, first of all, uh, when I saw this, uh, this picture, I loved um, the pigeon. And the pigeon um, is just fabulous. So that's the word which I felt 
which I felt every moment when I was stitching it. Fabulous. So I hope that if you have this one, you'll be like, fabulous. <laughs> and in the crown, I used a sparkly um, DMC Etoile. It was my first time using it. And uh, actually my dad gifted me this. Um, so also a lot of nice and warm feelings. I think I will put all the designer names um, in the comment. Uh, no, no, in the, yeah, in the box. Uh, so, because I might forget right now, but when I will be editing, I will find everyone. Okay. Uh, am I probably just getting creepier and creepier? <laughs> Uh, but this is so funny. I mean, uh, for me, I ever, uh, yeah, it, it has his own taste, but it's still so funny. Um, this is a cafe, coffee owl, mm, morning coffee it's called, by someone. <laughs> Sorry, um, I'm blanking. This was a gift from the designer. Uh, I was taking part in a bird sow in uh, my friend's group and one of the designers were doing a giveaway and I won and uh, she was doing a giveaway like uh, you can choose this pattern but you have to stitch it right away and uh, so I just had to start and finish it and uh, this was, was my travel piece uh, in some way so it went around the Beijing all over but it was finished in South Korea. Um, so the pictures I have of it, I think like brown wall and just some flowers, they're actually pictures from Korea, but you can never say. And I think if you don't take coffee, because I'm not a coffee person, but if you don't take coffee, I don't really drink coffee like that. I drink a lot of like this milky, sugary, strawberry, something, something, something latte with a lot of whipped cream and ice cream and uh, all the bubble teas there. So this is the way I drink coffee. Otherwise, I will get really edgy. So this is me every morning. Like before I take my tea and before I maybe spend one hour, I can't talk. My cat is like running around, climbing on me, wants some attention because I just woke up and I'm the first person who wakes up. I'm like, I'm sorry, May. I can't talk to you. Like, I can pet her, but then. Like that. So, this is startling in the morning. If you are like that, this piece is for you. Um, one of my recent ones. Halloween Girl by Anna Klautova. Um, because I know a lot of people love Halloween. This is a small, this is a small piece compared to others, but it's so detailed and uh, I thought, why not? Because it's Russian, it has a lot of blends. Cross stitch BDSM. And Okay, I think number like seven, six, six maybe. Um, I know that the, when I'm filming at home behind my back, there is always a fox in a sweater and it's a big hit. Little Flossuber shout out the, <laughs> the fox, not me, the fox, and said that uh, they wanted to stage uh, these animals just because of it. So uh, unfortunately the fox uh, is already framed. <laughs> But uh, in the hope, but I have the raccoon, trash panda, and uh, I think um, it's even more mm, it's even more difficult in his sweater because he has like tiny snowflakes. Show the snowflakes, camera, and everything, and uh, he could be either Gryffindor or. Ravenclaw, right? Blue one. So I love how it turned out. I'm not gonna stitch any other animals in sweaters. I already have the raccoon, rabbit, and fox. So I think 
of giving away the red coin. We are experiencing dropships. <laughs> we we'll just had uh, finished the class, so I forgot everything that I said before. <laughs> but in front of me are just three more projects, so I'm gonna just show them. Um, this is a project I adore. I love it. So this is uh, linen. I think it's 30 to count. Um, I don't know how, uh, who is the designer. I will find out. Uh, the pattern I think is like uh, the spirit of the forest or something, but it's the wolf from Manonoke Princess. Uh, the cartoon um, Miyazaki, uh, like uh, Gone with the Wind or um, uh, Ponyo Fish. There is like a lot of lot of a lot of cartoons, and one of them was uh, uh, Princess Mononoke, where she has two brother wolves and one mummy wolf, and one of them is that, and that's her mask, which is actually like a battle mask she's wearing. Uh, some, I think it's Japanese, and it means like mountain or something like this. So it's rather long. Uh, but it's so cool. Um, I was stitching it um, as a model stitch uh, for a designer. Um, there was a sow, like um, Russians, some, every year, Russians in the summer, they do this sow in one of the groups in uh, the social media of Kontakte. It's like, uh, it's like Facebook. In one of the groups they're making a sow, like uh, all the designers that do not have model stitch. And uh, usually the Russian designs on the preview, they're a little bit like, mm, you don't know how they will turn out. Are they really so good or the preview lies? So uh, the Russian designers would not have model stitch. They organize a sale where they give out their patterns for free, but only to maybe one or two people. At, um, like one pattern for one person and one pattern for two people uh, at a time. So they will stitch and they will show them progress every week. So they're really stitching. And maybe they will have some time limits. Like the moment I saw this, I'm like, me, 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 please choose me, 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 me. I want this one. So and that's that's really cool because uh, Russian designers have so many patterns they are really not capable of cross stitching them but this kind of style it gives a, a lot like at least a thousand of model stitches every year like this way so that's really cool and everyone can choose whichever they like um this was also another number eight nine, nine number nine number nine I remember. I, I didn't. I think I didn't say number three, four, five. But I say number nine. Um, this was a model stitch for um, Alvig from the group uh, Zimorodki. Um, she's one of the two designers, and uh, she decided to try something new and tried black work. And this is my first black work too. And uh, I was, it's so beautiful, look at that. I was learning too, it's my first black work too. And uh, this is where I learned that you can actually substitute floss. Like this was maybe three years ago, but I love this so much. Mm, it's so small, but it's so cute. This llama is amazing. Uh, no drama llama. <laughs> so, um, you could actually substitute floss uh, like from backstage and uh, um, black work from uh, like DMC or CXC to sewing floss, which actually gets better. Like, I, I don't know what's the difference, but when you do the black work in DMC, mm, it's like so so. But when you do it in sewing floss, which is thinner, it looks like lace. So oh, this is amazing piece. And by the way, another um, thing is that she used uh, only half stitches in the um, scarf to make like a pattern in the scarf. Like it's really wool knitted. 
So it's not stitch in it's not cross stitch, it's like half stitches in different directions. Like this and like this. Oh I love it. And it's done just in like six C and DMC. So cool. Okay. And the last one, number 10. I think this piece haven't got the love that it deserves. <laughs> it's the first piece of this year. Oh, it's so tiny on camera. <laughs> Actually, it's like a rather big piece, but it's so tiny on camera. Um, this is the Magic Cat by Maria Brovko, and it's on Chinese uh, 16 count Ada. Uh, it says DMC, but I don't believe that. I would never believe that. <laughs> so it's rather stiff, but it holds perfectly. So uh, this is uh, the cat. It's so cute. I don't know. I'm just loving it. And I know I said I want to make a tote bag with it, but if someone really loves it, I will be happy to give you these colors that brought me joy. I started this project as um, an attempt to start this year with bright magic colors, to start it anew. And though when I was stitching it, I was complaining on the Ada. I'm loving it. I'm loving the result. It's so cute and amazing. So I actually have no idea what the winner will choose. Like if it was me, I cannot because it's all my favorites. I hope you have something to choose from and you like what you saw. So thank you everyone who watched this video to the very end. You deserve a big hug from me. Hug, hug, hug. <laughs> Jenny, so like, love, this is a little heart. So this is a heart. I love you. <laughs> okay, and um, see you sometime in the next video. And uh, probably my next video will be 24 hours of cross stitch. Yeah. So until then, happy stitching. Bye bye.